Hi everyone, my name is Marcella and I'm a librarian here at the St. Catharines Public Library. Today for Saturday Staff Picks, I'm going to tell you a little bit about The Golden Tresses of the Dead by Canadian author Alan Bradley. This is the 10th book in the Flavia de Luce murder mystery series. If you've never picked up a Flavia de Luce book before, you're in for a treat. She is the world's prominent, adolescent, busybody, sleuth, and chemist, all in that order. Trouble in the form of murder tends to find her, and this story is no different. A dismembered finger hidden in a wedding cake sets the stage for another murder mystery, and it's up to Flavia and her associate dogger to take up the case. One would assume that a preteen girl would shrink away from the prospect of a dead body, but for Flavia, it's a source of biological fascination. Plus, at the discovery of a poisoned client, Flavia now has the excuse to visit cemeteries, probe the processes of embalming and bleeding out, and test various types of poisons. To get an idea of how Flavia feels about things that make most of us feel a little bit squeamish, she says, and I quote, I don't know if you've ever dissected a rat, but to me, there was only one word for it. Exhilarating. Not only will you be treated to Flavia's blunt opinions and grating sarcasm in this book, which prove to be as hilarious to the reader as they are insulting to the character in the book, but you'll also learn a lot about chemistry, particularly poisons, that you didn't know before. When the author Bradley started this series, Flavia was a very young and innocent 11-year-old with an insatiable curiosity and a zest for life. One cannot remain a child forever, and it's interesting how Bradley uses this book to explore the curious coming-of-age experiences and realizations that happen to a girl in her teens with the absence of parental guidance. This title is available from any of our branches in both print and audiobook formats. You can also access it through Cloud Library as an ebook. You can read this as a standalone book, but I would recommend starting at the beginning of the series just to get the groundwork on Flavia's family, history, struggles, and successes. Plus, because this is the 10th book in the series, you can totally binge read. I hope you'll pick up The Golden Tresses of the Dead by Alan Bradley or any of the other books in the Flavia de Luce series. They're lighthearted for a murder mystery educational, historical, and at times hysterical for both adults and teens alike. Thank you for checking out our Saturday Staff Pick. I hope you'll tune in next time for more great reads from the St. Catharines Public Library.